And just like that, they're wrapping up this corner and we beat the rain for the day. So I also own a farm. Here we go. You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Dirty windshield, but holy smoke, sunrise is looking good. I gotta stop and get some paper towels and spray. Well, there's a car accident going the other way, so we're redirecting our route, but I figured I'd show you guys. This is some of the triticale that got spread on uh, before the snow the last heavy snow so it's doing pretty good out there um, as far as the car accident there's a car upside down people are in it still I guess and not really sure what happened but I don't think we're gonna see any of it because that delays all the process so we just gotta go a few different routes and we'll keep the manure going so this is where the accident happened car was rolled over up against that fence pretty wild it didn't take them very long to clean up or do the accident report but came in hot do you want to get out and party is that what you want to do alrighty so we are switching fields um, today has we've been moving but today has felt like like at 10 o'clock I thought it was 2 2 p.m. <laughs> look at you you were bored. Um, so they got to run hose across to the next field. That road's actually going to be shut down. I figured I'd jump out. We're going to adjust brakes on the trailer. Um, I did the truck last night. We got a little bit of time. There goes the military. I think it's the military plane across. The bombers or transport planes or whatever there. Hey, no going in the road though. So I believe it's under air right now they've already blown the pig out but i'm not actually sure yes they, it is so he's gonna nope here comes the pig or the last of the air actually yes so they blew the pig out so that was all under air he shut it and then you can move the hose when it's under air so he opened it back up and he's kicking it all out i've honestly never adjusted these brakes on this trailer but we are going to need some tires in the near future and somebody keeps asking why we're running military tires it's because what they were on the truck when i got the trailer when i got it like probably in a few days to be honest that one is not looking so good i know that would not pass dot inspection but by the time you see this we'll probably have new tires We've gotta get paid to have new tires that's part of it too and a lot of these older military trailers have wedge brakes. Granted, this one is not an older one, so it has regular brakes on it. Um, so, a little dirty from running, but it is what it is, and we'll get it adjusted up. They weren't that far out of adjustment, but I wanted to check. Like that, he's out there dragline across the road there, rolling up the drag hose there, and we're back to pumping. Good switch, over. Just after four, we're wrapped up for the day, so yeah. By the time I go fuel up, it'll be five. Get home at seven. Hopefully, work on the truck some. We will see. We were supposed to go move manure locally, but the tankers actually got a bunch done. So we'll be back up here running tomorrow and the next day and probably the next day and so on and so on. There's quite a bit of work up here, so it's tough leaving and saying no go chase other work but I like working with these guys so alrighty let's jump home wow the amount of cars today is absolutely insane but we're like 45 minutes earlier than usual just rolled back in here from some newer hauling and well giving this a try so 
Factor 75 hit me up and they said, why don't you try these? Which if you haven't heard of Factor 75, link is down below. But I'm going to go eat one for dinner. I am exhausted. I honestly have not been eating as well as I should um, due to time restraints, energy. Yeah. So I'm trying to get back into better eating habits again. Um, not living off of fast foods and gas station food and uh i think you'll enjoy it too so i'm gonna give them a try i'll show you what goes on with it why am i excited to work with factor 75 well like i said i have not been eating very well we've uh stressed out a lot we get home convenience of it is going to be awesome so so this is how they come Let's see, which one is this? Parmesan and sun-dried tomato chicken penne with roasted green beans and pearl onions. Bam. The stress of coming home after a long, long day and making something that actually is good for you and actually is going to fill you up and you're not going to feel not so good the next day is challenging. But... Factor's got it covered. So we got, I believe we got six meals in here. They have all different meals available. They have all different schedules available. I don't know which one we're gonna start with tonight, but honestly, if this works out, we're gonna have to figure out a way to eat these for lunch. I'm sure some farm could hook us up. I honestly couldn't remember what my meal was. So every week you get a meal option, you can skip. There's add-ons, there's different things. Um, and I just ran with it because it's always cool to see what, like try different things. So I got all sorts of options, honestly, but it is taco Tuesday today. So I got shredded chicken taco bowl. We'll open that up two minutes of cook time. And what it says is pierce it in multiple spots. Take that bowl out because that probably shouldn't be cooked for two minutes. And this is a chicken bowl. So we'll give that a try and there we have it. Ooh. Put it on the plate. So you got one dirty dish, but otherwise, if you look behind me, the that's from previously cooking. So the simplicity of it, awesome. And there we have it. I can't believe it smells amazing. I'm honestly gonna give you guys a daily update on what I'm eating from them just so that I can Make you guys jealous if you haven't hit it. But right now, 50% off your first box with my link down below. And free wellness shots for life. So hit the link down below. Ooh, that smells good too. Alrighty. Taste test. Big fan, big fan. I'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll see what we're eating then. But link is down below. Appreciate Factor 75 being the partner of today's video and uh, keeping me fed from here on out because we had to make a change and this is gonna be the good change. Back to the content. We are on the way into work and it is raining already, so. Less than ideal, but hopefully it passes a little bit by the time we get there. I've seen lightning and, well, I haven't heard thunder, but I've seen lightning most of the ride in and just pulling into the rain. So I think it's gonna pick up some more as we head east here. Well, it cleared up here. Yank was pretty excited he sees everybody up here. There goes Mikey with the first truck pulling out. We'll get hooked up. They should be set up and ready to run across to the next field. They just got to hook on and we got to fill that frack tank. So, should be a good day. The Fairfield crew. Okay, we are hooked up, everything's functioning. Let's go get loaded up. 
it's uh, a little bit before 6.30. So there's the hose, and we are offloading over there out of the way, so we've been in the same spot. Uh, the road, the crossroad that cuts across is shut down for us right now, so I believe there's 18 acres, I think is what they said there. So we're figuring hopefully noon, rain is supposed to come this afternoon. No idea what we're supposed to get. This morning I wasn't expecting rain, so I've seen anything from quarter inch to half inch. I don't know. James couldn't offload because he had sand plugged in it. He got that figured out. So now he's sitting next to me offloading into this truck that's offloading into that. What is going on? So he's got sand stuck in uh, the tank itself and he's been rocking it back and forth trying to get as much out as he can. Um, got the other truck behind me. So I swung my boom all the way out. Hopefully we both can unload because the drag line had to slow down. Now they're ramping back up. Uh, because if they suck down too low in the frack tank, then they suck air, then you end up in a bad time. And if you run out of liquid and you got a lot bunch of sand, you end up with a bad time. So we're down in the bottom of the pit. It's uh it's it's part of sand pits and being in the bottom so I'm hoping I don't have any issues I got the door shut so and just like that they're wrapping up this corner and we beat the rain for the day so solid day not really sure what the rain's gonna do that track tank and everything's gonna moved out of here and go into another location so same farm, different location. So we gotta see what the rain does, but. And just like that, we got the trailer dropped. We'll probably be up here end of the week and we'll see what farms we'll get into there. We're done, I gotta get fuel. And uh, they're actually moving manure ahead of the rain. And I I did offer, I said, it. if you need it on a truck, I'll haul for a few more hours. But they were lined up pretty good. So when you got a tank and you're not going into a frack tank, the key is, well, having trucks not sitting around waiting on the manure tank so or vice versa so it is a balancing act but we will uh see what goes on with the rain and that will be the deciding factor as far as when we get back home manure so like that we're home bud well we got this afternoon Probably Thursday off, so we're gonna do some of our stuff. We gotta get the pickup done. I got parts for the discs. I'm gonna go in and eat lunch, honestly. It's two o'clock now, but I didn't stop anywhere on the way home because I got Factor 75 meals and I wanna try some more of them. So, yeah, link's down below right here. I'm very excited about them. I'm exhausted, though, to be honest. This waking up at four gets so quick. But alrighty, we'll see what we get into. Appreciate you guys watching though. Went with the Santa Fe style green chili beef skillet. So we'll give it a try. I'll let you know. Well, we wrapped up manure hauling for a few days. Uh, I do not believe we're going to haul for a few. We will see what goes on. It is wet. It rained all night into the morning. I'm catching up on editing video for you guys. Um, Honestly, when we're hauling, after a few days, it's all the same thing. It's repetition to me. Um, filming doesn't really seem that much fun as far as getting you guys some content of it because it's the same thing every day. And I know people say, oh, we like seeing it, this, that. I'm working on getting you guys some more and more. Well, mixing it up there. But honestly, if we're having a smooth day, there's no content to really show you guys. Um, I should bring the drone up, but... I'm getting paid by the hour, so if I take any excess time to get you guys any footage, I feel bad um, as far as billing on it. So then it gets into that whole, the whole side of that. 
So unless we have a major breakdown um, or something comes up like blowing hydraulic lines and stuff and sand or something blows apart. But honestly, at the end of the day, that doesn't make anybody money and none of us want to see that. So yeah, smooth days. You guys don't see very much because they're going smooth and they don't make content at all. Well, Alrighty, appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.